This is a powerful tool that you can use to help you pay off high interest debt two, three, or even four months faster than you might be able to otherwise. Hello and welcome to Practical Personal Finance, where you get the information you need to understand and succeed with money. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you about what a credit card balance transfer is and how it works. Then I'll give you an example situation where a credit card balance transfer would make good financial sense. And finally, at the very end of this video, I'll educate you about three pitfalls that you'll most certainly want to avoid if you're taking advantage of this debt reduction tool. Let's start with the basics. What is a credit card balance transfer? To put it simply, a credit card balance transfer is when you use a credit card to pay off some other debt you have, most commonly other credit card debt. You're essentially taking the balance or amount you owe on one credit card and transferring it to another credit card. Here's how it works. First, check with your credit card company to learn if they offer balance transfers. If so, you provide the details about the account you would like to transfer the balance from. Your credit card company will then issue a payment on your behalf toward the account you specified. Once that payment is issued, you'll see the balance on one account go down and the balance on the other account go up. As an example, let's pretend I've got two credit cards, one from Chase and one from Discover. The balance on my Chase credit card is $3,000 and I wanna transfer that balance to my Discover credit card. I would get in touch with Discover and provide them with the account details for my Chase credit card with the $3,000 balance. Discover would then issue a $3,000 payment to Chase on my behalf. A few days later, the new balance on my Chase credit card will be $0, and the new balance on my Discover credit card will be $3,000. I know what you're thinking. This sounds a lot like moving the mashed potatoes around on your plate without actually eating any of them. And you're absolutely right. Balance transfers don't get you any closer to becoming debt free. Just like moving your food around on your plate doesn't get you any closer to being done with dinner. So what's the point? Well, in many cases, credit card companies will have these special offers when it comes to balance transfers. These special offers usually involve a low interest rate on transferred balances for a certain number of months. Something like 0% interest for 12 months, or 3% interest for 18 months. That can be a pretty good deal, especially if you have a lot of debt with high interest rates. So why are credit card companies so eager to help you out like this? What's the catch? The catch is something called a balance transfer fee. That's right, a fee. Wait, you were thinking this was all going to be free? These are credit card companies we're dealing with here. The only reason these guys exist is to make money off the backs of hardworking people like you and I. Yes, there's a fee for balance transfers. Usually you're looking at about three to 5% of the balance you're transferring. Do you remember the example from earlier where I transferred $3,000 from my Chase credit card to my Discover credit card? I forgot to mention the fee that Discover would charge me for executing the balance transfer. If Discover had a 3% fee, that would equate to $90, and it would simply be added to the new balance on my Discover credit card, making it $3,090 when all is said and done. Now that you understand what a balance transfer is and how it works, let's talk about a situation where a balance transfer makes good financial sense. Let's pretend you've got a bunch of credit card debt with a high interest rate and you're working on becoming debt free. You've done your homework and come up with a plan to achieve debt freedom in 18 months. By doing a balance transfer, you can essentially eliminate the accrual of interest while you work on paying off debt. That's a big deal. And here's an example to illustrate why. Let's say you have $8,000 of credit card debt with a 20% interest rate attached to it. That means in just one year, that $8,000 of debt will accrue $1,600 of interest. You have an opportunity to do a balance transfer and reduce your interest rate to 0% for 12 months. The balance transfer fee is 3% of $8,000 or $240. 
By doing the balance transfer, you're potentially saving yourself $1,360 over the next year, more than $110 per month. Those are some serious savings. Instead of paying that $110 every month in interest fees, it's now being directed toward the principal, bringing you that much closer to debt freedom. The reason why the balance transfer is so effective in this situation is because paying off that $8,000 in credit card debt is going to take a while. Every month, it's not paid in full. It's going to be accruing interest. And if it's going to accrue more in interest fees than it would cost to do the balance transfer, then it's a no-brainer. You do the transfer. On the flip side, if you were going to pay this debt off next month before any interest accrued at all, it wouldn't make any sense to go through with the balance transfer and pay that fee. Unless, of course, you wanted to donate any more of your money to a credit card company. Last but not least, I want to talk about three pitfalls you need to be aware of if you're considering using a balance transfer as part of your debt reduction strategy. First is the interest rate after the introductory period. Earlier, we discussed how you can secure a low interest rate, perhaps even 0%, for a certain period of time after completing the balance transfer. But what will the interest rate be on the balance after the introductory period is over? If it's significantly higher than what you've got now, and you're not planning to have the debt paid off by the time it kicks in, you could be shooting yourself in the foot. Second is that in most, if not all cases, you are still required to make minimum monthly payments, even if your debt is not accruing any interest. Be extra careful with this one. I would suggest turning on auto pay if you have that capability. Because even if you're one day late with a payment, there's a good chance that the 0% interest rate you made all that effort to attain will completely vanish. And there's a good chance it'll instantly be replaced with late fees and a higher than normal interest rate to penalize you further for failing to pay on time. Finally, balance transfers can have a negative impact on your credit score especially if you're opening up a brand new credit card to take advantage of an offer for new customers. There are two factors at play here, your length of credit history and new credit. Length of credit history is essentially the average age of all your open accounts, credit cards, auto loans, student loans, and any other debt you may have. Adding a new account to the mix is going to bring your average account age down, which will in turn bring your credit score down. On top of that, applying for a new credit card is going to put a hard inquiry on your credit report. Hard inquiries tend to bring down your credit score as well. The credit card balance transfer has the potential to be an incredibly powerful tool when it comes to paying off high interest debt. However, you need to be careful that you're not just kicking the can down the road. Use a balance transfer as part of your overall strategy to become debt free. And remember that dealing with credit card companies is a lot like playing with fire. You need to be careful, otherwise you're going to get burned. What are your thoughts on the credit card balance transfer? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and would like to become an expert on the five factors that influence your credit score, click right here. And for more great personal finance content, become a subscriber by clicking right here. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Andrew Shear. And I'll see you next time.